What are your expectations? I already had a very good session yesterday in the working group because I learned that in Malawi there has been a study undertaken to reform the fertilizer input program with very good policy recommendations and also some evidence on what what it could save the Malawian government and what the benefits, what is in it for them to reform that very inefficient program. And this is exactly the question where we're right now with Zambian Ministry of Agriculture in the discussions and with other development partners and I would really like to invite this study team over from Malawi to Zambia to also give cross-country guidance um, because we expect that the same might happen in Zambia that reforming the fertilizer input support program might free up resources, a lot of resources, for much better nutrition sensitive and climate adapted agriculture. My expectations are basically to meet what Albert Engel told us yesterday are the threefold benefits of sector networks. I would like to achieve individually that I meet and encounter during this week entry points and learnings for my personal career. I want to secondly find and learn and peer learn from others for my projects, how to improve the implementation in Zambia. And lastly, I would love to contribute to the discussions and debates uh, about how to bring GRZ as an organization forward. I think the best we can do with such meetings is to give people more and better ideas, to give also a room within the work, the day-to-day -day work, a room of reflection and peer learning. And within these reflections, for example, this morning I had my, my, for myself a moment, I mean, we are talking about transformation of African food systems, the real big questions. And at the same time, we're not in a position to get the technicalities rolling for a hybrid meeting and to conference a keynote speaker in. So to reflect on the discrepancies, what is it we're discussing and what is it we're actually doing? And to also humbly think about also our sphere of influence and then still not to get frustrated, but to be encouraged. I think that is the best a sector network can do. Right, your question about how, how organization and development within GIZ, optimization, digitalization, integrated solutions, topics that are on the table right now, high on the managerial agenda for GIZ top level management. How they contribute to our technical questions? Yes, they do contribute a lot because if we had more efficient processes, more digitalized workflows, and if things were falling better together, we would free up personnel resources for work on impacts, for work on better cooperation with what we stated this morning, an ever more complex setting, not only bilateral partners, but also multilaterals, private sector, civil society, addressing not only technical, but also political questions, we can't do, the day has only 24 hours. If we had less of a burden on the inter-organizational matters, we would have more resources for that. At least that's what I would dream about. I don't think I have something I would want everybody to be convinced about. What I would love to, if I had the time to talk to everyone, is to, to ask what is it they need out of a sector network and what makes for them a good sector network speaker. What I think I can offer is my commitment and my experience and my motivation. And maybe let me give a personal uh, note here. I'm, I'm currently, I mean, careers have also ups and downs. My current moment in professional life is one of very high motivation. And that is due to the fact that after 10 years working for headquarters, which I liked a lot, work in sector projects, policy advice to BMZ, I enjoyed that work a lot. I had a fantastic team there, but moving to an African country and to work in bilateral and um, uh, global projects at country level is something I was really longing for. And now that I've changed my position into that six weeks ago, I really feel how much I appreciate working again in an African country with partners, with target groups, with a fantastic team on the ground. And this motivation I would like to take and encourage others, because that is where the magic happens. Uh, at ground level, at micro, meso and macro level, the multi-sectoral approaches, and this we should continue. And if I can contribute to encourage and stimulate debate about this with all the experts in the room, I think that's the best I can do as a speaker, but I would also ask what they expect from me.